total control of the design and production process. The end result is the most complete line of premium species specific rods ever made for fishermen and the best service and warranty in the business backing them up. Step up and buy with confidence because that's what separates St. Croix rods from all the rest. A woman. A woman and her truck. A woman, her truck, and a 1,200 pound passenger. And two bodies with one mind. And a ribbon that goes on her wall, not in her hair. The all new Chevy Silverado, with the best available towing in its class. Strong for all the roads ahead. When I'm not fishing in Ontario, I'm dreaming about it. Dreaming about trophy pike, walleye, muskies, bass, and more. Dreaming about the shore lunches, the scenery, and serenity. And nothing turns those dreams into reality like GoFishinOntario.com. GoFishinOntario.com is your guide to planning a trip of a lifetime on one of Ontario's 400,000 pristine lakes, rivers, and streams. Live the dream, my friends, in Ontario at GoFishinOntario.com. It's time for the 2014 Chevy Silverado sweepstakes. You could be just like past winners and score on a chance to fish and film with me. This year's lucky winner and guest will get free Cabela's guidewear and fly in with me to Pine Portage Lodge on Cape Anacogamy Lake in Northern Ontario, home to fantastic walleye and Northern pike fishing. Want to go fishing with me on an Ontario dream trip? Then go to Winkleman.com and enter the Chevy Silverado sweepstakes. Hey, down here, we've got some really cool stuff going on. Like weekly giveaways for some of the same great gear we use on the show. Oh, gotta go, but swing by and like us on Facebook, okay? Continuing now on Lake Nipigon, Ontario's crown jewel. In search of the next world record brook trout, Chad and I are pitching jigs to wind-blown points with deeper water nearby. When you're on a, a lake like Nipigon, that you know the world record brook trout is 10 to 11 pounds, whatever it is, somewhere in there. And you know that there are more than one new potential world records in this lake. That's an incredible feeling. I mean, how many times have you ever had that feeling being on lake and the kind of fish you're going after, you know that the new world record is here and it might be on this next cast. There he is. Got him? Yes. Big fish. Big fish? Got to run the motor. Me? Yep. Okay. No trolling motor. I don't know what I got here, but this is a big fish. Oh my God. It's a brook trout. Tell me when and I'll come back and net. Come now. Get your rod over. Get back up in the motor. Okay, come on. See him. Had that bigger net. This is a nine, ten pound fish. No, right by your feet, your feet, you're underneath you. Okay. Ready? No. That, yes. Come on back. Oh my God, is this a big fish. Please, Lord, let me land this fish. It's a lake trout, I think. It's not. No? Shooting bubbles. They're both char.
lake trout. Oh, it is a lake. Good, I thought I had a 10, 12 pound rookie. I seen him flash down. Ah! I saw the bubbles. Oh, oh. But, it's so nice lake trout. Well, I know it's a nice lake trout. But I seen that fish and I would have bet you all the money in the world that was a brook trout that was over 10 pounds. My Lord, my heart is just going. Ah! Well, thank you, Mr. Croak. <laughs> oh, was that exciting. This is my new world record brook trout. <laughs> that is of the char family, just like the brookies are. Lake trout and brook trout, do you know that? They're both Arctic char? Yep. <laughs> Got Thank a little bit fish. of a belly on I loved you. <laughs> oh, I seen that fish. Oh, I'm not telling you. I'm, I'm just in the inside deflated. I mean, when you're on a lake that you know has the next world record brook trout in it, bar nothing, mm -hmm. and you see something like that come up, and I just seen those markings on his back and the green as it swirled and went down. Yep. Oh, boy. We got the bugger. Yep. If that would have been the brook trout, he'd have been in the boat. Well, I don't know what we're going to top do to top that feeling. I, I know what we can do. Catch a 10 pound brook trout. Oh, that, that'll do her. Good Fishing is brought to you by the Eddie Coolers, wildly stronger, keeps ice longer. St. Croix Rods, handcrafting rods for over 50 years. Stable Fuel Stabilizer, America's top selling fuel stabilizer. And by Chevy Silverado, strong for all the roads ahead. A woman, a woman and her truck, a woman, her truck, and a 1,200 pound passenger, and two bodies with one mind, and a ribbon that goes on her wall, not in her hair. The all new Chevy Silverado, with the best available towing in its class, strong for all the roads ahead. Evan Root e -Tech has been outperforming four-stroke engines for years. But what about the latest 150 four-strokes that claim to deliver two-stroke-like torque? See the proof for yourself. Get your free DVD now and watch how the two-stroke Evan Root e -Tech 150 outpulls and out-accelerates the four-stroke competition. See how it wins when it comes to maintenance, ease of winterization, and more. Evan Root e -Tech is the true champion. Go to EvanRoot150Challenge.com and get your free DVD now. It's time for the 2014 Chevy Silverado sweepstakes. You could be just like past winners and score on a chance to fish and film with me. This year's lucky winner and guest will get free Cabela's guidewear and fly in with me to Pine Portage Lodge on Cape Anacogamy Lake in Northern Ontario, home to fantastic walleye and Northern pike fishing. Want to go fishing with me on an Ontario dream trip? Then go to winkleman.com and enter the Chevy Silverado sweepstakes. If you're not using marine formula stable in your boat, both during storage and every time you fill your tank, here's a scoop on why you should. Ethanol is hydroscopic, which means when ethanol blended fuel sits over time, 
the ethanol in it actually attaches to or absorbs water. When this occurs, the ethanol drops out of the fuel, gains weight, and sinks to the bottom of your tank where your fuel pickup sucks up all that water through your engine as it runs. Inevitably, the end result is decreased performance and corrosion of internal engine parts. But Marine Formula Stable prevents that phase separation from occurring. And when added to every tank, it enhances marine engine performance by providing more than four times the fuel system cleaner and double the corrosion preventer than in regular stable. So to protect and keep your marine engines running smoother 24-7 and 52 weeks per year, trust Marine Formula Stable like I do. The Great Taste from Chris's Kitchen, brought to you by the Great Taste of Johnsonville Sausage. Welcome to my kitchen where today I'll be making scrumptious fresh fish and corn fritters with a sweet maple mustard dipping sauce. A few weeks back on the show, I took you all to a place where we saw firsthand how pure maple syrup is made. Wow, I found it so interesting, but I never really showed you a recipe for putting it to good use with fresh fish. Well, better late than never, and these fresh fish and corn fritters dunked in maple mustard sauce are totally to die for, trust me. So let's get to it, shall we? We have to start with the fish. Any kind of fresh fish that you have, cooked and flaked. Corn, green onion, celery, couple of eggs beaten, and get the egg all incorporated. And now I'm gonna add flour. And of course you have to have garlic. I'm telling you people, you are gonna love this. Cilantro, and I've got coriander, a little bit of salt, and ground cumin, and pepper to taste. Now, just mix this all together real well, and we're ready to form balls, and put them into hot oil that is gonna be up to 375 degrees. And we're gonna deep fry them in oil for just a couple of minutes until they're nice and golden brown, and just lay them out on paper towel to let them drain a little bit. Okay, I'm gonna show you how to make the sauce. It's Dijon mustard and about a quarter cup of maple syrup. And just have it get incorporated good, stir it in. And that will sit right in the middle of my platter when I'm ready to serve them. Mmm, just dunk those hot fritters in that sweet maple mustard sauce. Take a bite and you and your taste buds will instantly be in heaven. <laughs> But these are all mine. I'm Chris Winkleman, and thanks for joining me today in my kitchen. You know, probably the most often asked question I get is, what is it about fishing that drives you so much that you've dedicated your career and your life to it in the way that you have? And to be quite honest, I keep answering that question in different ways because even I'm not completely sure the answer. Take my history and investment of time with brook trout as just one of many examples. I know there's a lot of things I like about them and the places they live. A trite answer might be that they get me outdoors, but it's much, much more than that. Literally, for all types of fish, I dearly love the challenge of patterning them. You know what I mean. What are fish doing on a particular day? Why are they doing it? And how on God's green earth can I figure out how to catch as many of them as possible? And whenever I can't, it absolutely drives me nuts. Hmm. What is it about fishing that drives me the way it does? Well, I'm also addicted to that constant anticipation I feel every time I get a bite. On any given cast, anything is possible and could result in the next world record brook trout, walleye, pike, or you name it. I guess the bottom line on what makes me such a fanatic about fishing is that I don't really know the answer. And you know, perhaps the fact that I don't is the mystery that makes it so unbelievably compelling to me. Call that need to fish instinctive or whatever. It's just something I've felt a calling to do, I know I love, and I would feel completely empty without it. I'm Babe Winkleman. Thanks so much for watching today, and until next time, everybody, hey, good fishing. Hey, everybody.